All right, y'all, somebody contacted me today. Want to know how to point a domain registered at Cloudflare over to SiteGround. This is how you do it. Go to your hosting plan, settings, uh, click on these three dots, add a website. It's an existing domain. If you wanted to register one, you can go here. That's if you get into the hosting plan first. But let's do what we're doing, right? Uh, what, what, what am I getting here? Dental Greens Pro. Dental greensboro.nc.com. Make sure you have Cloudflare open for any registrar when you're trying to do stuff like this, connecting stuff. You got to make sure we're going to go ahead and install a new application so you can see it works. WordPress. Uh, A lot of times this is going to get a lot of spam be careful kind of getting like GoDaddy trying to make you sign up for some stuff no thank you you in this case they didn't try to do it that way finish creating your site meanwhile okay we already over here we need to go into the DNS records and we are already on that you go over here to your account main options DNS records add a record I'm going to use this and you're going to get the IP address for that you're all set now in Cloudflare, you can't change your DNS. So what we have to do is go over here to Site Tools and get your IP address. Hello? Hello? The best thing to do for other registrars is just change the DNS. Right here is where you you'll get your IP address. Take it back over to Cloudflare. Pop it in. Turn this off to DNS only. Save. And then you just have to wait. Probably takes about five minutes. I'm going to pause you so you won't sit here looking at that screen. Let me show you what it looks like and if I was to go over here and try to do it right now this is what we would get why it works never worked for me that quick dental green and if anybody want to buy this website a domain name oh it's working already okay so that took like three minutes all right, so now you see that it is not secure, so we want to fix that. Let's come back over here to Site Tools, go to Security, SSL Manager, Let's Encrypt, Get. Doing it this way though. It's probably going going to expire in about six months. I'm not sure how long. Because they, they want you to buy the other option. But when it does, you just can come back over here and do it again. And you'll know that it's expired because it will say not secure again. Alright, configure you on it. All you need to do is come over here, hit, hit the three dots, enforce HTTPS, click the button, and say you see that is enabled. And now, if you refresh over here, instead of saying not secure, boom, you're good. And that's it. That's all for this tutorial. Of course, you could go over here and go into your domain name now. 
websites Dental Greensboro, WordPress, login. And of course, from here, you can start working on your site. Health and fitness. And that's it for this tutorial. All right. You need something else? Let me know.